Good morning, Drupal fans. This is another Mastering Drupal screencast with Greg Canadison. Today, we've got the pingback module. This is something from Contrib. That's right. It's like trackbacks, but better. So th the motivation for pingbacks is that you know, you've posted a page where you link to somebody else's page. And wouldn't it be nice if their page included a link to yours? Uh, this would allow them to know, you know that, you've up that you've written about their page. And it would also uh, allow other people who come to that page to be able to find, uh, find your page. So it really helps uh, increase the kind of um, interlinking and conversational nature of blogging and kind of the, the internet as a, a platform for uh, higher discussion. Now, of course, uh, this, what the pingback and uh, its predecessor, the trackback, does is it automates this process of creating those links between the two pages. And because it's automated, uh, the folks behind spam or unsolicited commercial pingbacks and trackbacks, what they figured out was that they could abuse the trackback system to add thousands of links uh, to thousands of sites around the internet um, and, and uh, get more traffic to their pages. So there's a bit of a problem with these unsolicited commercial pingbacks, and uh, the pingback module, I think, has a pretty good way to reduce that problem, or at least a couple of them, in fact. So here is the pingback project page, which you can find on uh, Drupal under the downloads and then modules. Um, there's also, uh, if, you, if you really enjoy specifications, there's the pingback 1.0 specification, which is linked from that Drupal project page. Um, provides a lot of uh, different details, of course, about how the system works, uh, both from a you know from a, a narrative perspective and an actual technical perspective, and it and it describes why it's uh, why it makes it harder to spam. The main reason being that uh, it verifies that the pingbacking page actually contains a link to your site. So that's one of the ways that it helps with that. Um, so I've already installed the pingback module on one site, and now I'm going to enable it on a second site. In order for pingbacks to work, you have to have them enabled on two different sites. Now the first thing that you'll notice uh, when you visit this page is that the pingback module talks about how you need to use a special input format for pingbacks. Uh, the, the pingback module, um, you know, because it when it goes and, and verifies that the other site has, writ or has written something about your page, it also grabs some text from their page and includes it into your page. So if you allow people to include maybe a little bit too, too many kinds of HTML tags, that can be a bit of a security concern. So you want to keep this to a, a very locked down kind of an input format. Um, it also, the pingback module kind of uses this input format to keep track of which comments are pingbacks. And, and this is an interesting idea that the pingback module doesn't, you know, it doesn't create a new place to store the data. It just stores them into the comment table, um, which provides a lot of benefits in its simplicity. Um, even though, you know, maybe it's going to bloat your comment table, it's not going to bloat some other table. So I, I think that that was a really good decision on the part of the pingback folks. So I haven't created this. Uh, th they recommend the use of a, a new input format specifically for pingbacks. I haven't created that yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. There's a handy link that they provide you uh, right here on the admin page. So I'm going to call it the pingback format. And uh, it's recommended to only allow anonymous users to use it. And then to turn on the HTML filter to make sure that we filter out uh, anything you know, kind of nasty that may be coming through um, from uh, from the, the pingbacking page. Um, I'm going to insert the line break converter and the URL filter as well. Okay, so now we'll go back to the pingback page. And uh, if I refresh it, then we'll see the new pingback format. Um, I'm going to say that I want to hide the pingback input format for anonymous users. So that pingback format, because I'm allowing it for anonymous users, it's going to show up on, for example, comments uh, that I allow on this site. Um, but I don't want that because it's really just kind of specific to this purpose. Um, so this feature hides that. Whether or not we want to receive pingbacks, I'd say so. It's kind of the point here. Um, pingback auto ping. So 
I'm going to do this on cron run. Um, I had some problems doing it when creating and updating nodes, and, and I wasn't able to figure out exactly why, but um, I found that on cron run seemed to work. There's a note that uh, there's performance problems with this, um, but if you keep this number to a minimum, uh, this number of, of checks per cron run, if you keep that to a minimum, and if you run cron on a very frequent basis, then I don't think that the performance problem should uh, really really become an issue. Uh, I use the poor man's cron module on this site and have it running every 15 minutes or something like that. So uh, the site doesn't get enough new posts that I would ever overwhelm um, cron with, uh, with, with having a whole bunch of pingbacks to run. And then uh, this, mod, this feature, notify for successful pingbacks, doesn't matter if you're running on cron, so uh, it doesn't matter how I set it. Now uh, the next thing that you need to do once pingback has kind of been enabled and configured, you've got your input format, uh, is that you need to add it to a specific content type. So by default, it adds itself to the story and the blog uh, content type. And then here, um, you can see from my last test, normally this would be disabled, but uh, it, I've, I'll now enable it by clicking enabled and then say saving content type. So how to actually use it. Uh, I'm going to go to my add content type page. And uh, say, there's a, a great story about Uruguay. And uh, so it just so happens that on a, another blog of mine, my wife wrote a really interesting post about Uruguay. And by publishing this, you know, basically in this case, I'm just kind of putting out a post for testing, but, um, you know, you might want to write obviously more information and then I hit submit, make sure that it's published. Okay, so it's now been created. The theme's a little bit, uh, a little bit crowded together in such a small resolution. And I'm just visiting the cron.php page, um, so that, uh, so that we'll have that cron run and have the pingback executed. And then now I'm pulling up uh, my watchdog page, and we can see this message here. Now, as you're installing the pingback module, you, you should probably check uh, this page. You can see what's going on um, with your pingbacks. And so what it's telling me is, you know, yes, this actually worked, and the pingback succeeded. So let's go back to my story, and we'll go and take a look at, uh, at the original page. Aren't these nice photos? And then down at the bottom here, this is the beautiful part of pingback, is that a pingback was added, basically as a comment, and it says, you know, this is uh, submitted by uh, Greg, and if we were to, uh, and I'll turn on the status bar, so you can see down here that that's linking back to the page where I had the story about it. Um, it uses the page title from that page as my username, and then it kind of includes a, a little bit of the post. Um, so one of the things that I think is really cool about this module is that um, by inserting pingbacks as comments, you don't need a whole new administration page to deal with uh, the pingbacks. You know, you can go to your uh, comment administration page, admin content comment, and we see this pingback. Um, so the whole, you know, approval queue, published comments, all of that system works automatically. So if somebody subscribes to new comments on a site using, for example, the subscriptions module, then they will get notified of pingbacks. Uh, I think that's very valuable. Another thing is, for example, the spam and the reporting spam system will also work. So there's really a lot of benefits that you get uh, in the pingback module um, by having it use comments. I think it's really handy. Okay, Drupal Masters, it's time to go have some fun with your website. This is Greg Kanadison, exploring Drupal so you don't have to.